We're about to leave, but we're gonna leave on this. Wait a minute, we ain't done yet. Yeah. No, we got to come back, Craig. Because remember, I got that people at the house. Oh my God, I wanted to talk about this though. No, this will, this this is definitely where we're going. Wh which one? Which one are you talking about? We're going to talk about that Nickelodeon special. Girl, I wanted to talk you about to talk this. Where? <laughs> okay, we'll talk about the Nickelodeon special after this. <laughs> but you, it's already, it's already said it's already Okay. Louisiana woman accused of refusing to return oh, sorry. return one point two put it back one point two million dollars after bank error. Um, I would have refused it too. Yeah, but when we when we when we try to figure out what you want on your book, do you want a hot sausage or you want potato chips? No, I'll just use one of our other aliases. Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> well, what they're saying is. So she worked for, uh, she was a, uh, what, what was her profession? Was she a, uh, uh, I can't remember what she did for a living. I think she was a, was she a banker? I can't remember. No, she was at a bank. I'm trying to remember. I think she Hold worked on. for the bank, but it was Charles Schwab, which is an investment bank. Um, they transferred $1.2 million to her account. And she refused to send it back. And so Charles Schwab is trying to sue her and bring forth charges against her to get the money back but there's a loophole because the law the, the law is basically saying um she's not obligated to send the money back because it wasn't her error it was their error so right. she didn't lawyer it up they've lawyered up but my thought is and i said this to some friends of mine the other day she should have took her ass to a country where there are no extradition laws where they can pull you back like she should have went over there with Russell Simmons over there in Bali. <laughs> but my thing is, could you really and give up your home? And live off of $35 a day? Listen, but could you really leave the country though for $1.2 million? Like you can't come back. You, you know, as soon as you come through- uh, TSA. Not even TSA, customs. They got you right oh, at the yeah. passport thing. So like you could never come back. Like all your friends, all your family, like could you really leave the country? And it's not enough when you really look at one point two million dollars, like in cash, mm -hmm. like you know. Oh God, I, Craig, I hate saying this stuff. What? Bitch, I don't. I, I don't ran through one. Bitch, you know, you don't done ran through a million. Stop dollars. telling these people my business. But I'm just saying, like it's like when you really look at that <laughs> stuff, you've been done ran through it. Like you've been you've been about you a car, and you done been about this, and you've been about that. You uh -huh. you know, by the time you done finished or you done invested in this, and this yeah, and, and it's just like, girl, it's gone. I need another million. Right. Now, if you now again, if you leave the country to go to Bali and for thirty five cents a day, because fifteen fifteen dollars a day, you get a full body massage, bitch, in Bali. That's retirement plans right there. Yes. That's why Russell Simmons. Like $1.2 million is a lot of money, but it's not enough to, to just leave everything that you know and everybody you know behind. Yeah, unless you're going to take them with you and you get them 45 cents a day. <laughs> That's what Tasha K going to end up living at over there. <laughs> <laughs> right over there in Bali. Ah. Oh my God! So she can hide all her money, and spend that good money over there. But now. I don't, I don't think she should get her. I don't think she should be sued though, because that's just like saying, okay, you mistakenly send somebody, uh, something off of Cash App or something. Oh, I'm coming for my money. Yeah, but they don't have to return it. Oh, I'm coming for it. But they don't have to return it though. But that was the point that people were making. Like when you make a mistake and send somebody the money wrong to the wrong person on Cash App or Zelle, they can't tell you you can't get your money back. So why should Charles Schwab? get their money back from her let her keep her money but my thing is how much is it going to take in terms of lawyer fees and court fees how I many how much is that going to burn into that 1.2 million well can't she do something where she could say they should be able to pay for her if if she wins the case she, is there a way that she could say they should she could pay probably for try to sue for attorney's fees and stuff yeah. but i'm gonna tell you what she did she bought a house she bought a car she paid off some bills I mean, but that's what I'm saying. I don't even how I don't even know how long she had the money until somebody from Charles Schwab caught it. Because you can't just go out and buy no house. You know what I'm saying? Like she would have had to have been looking already. You know what I mean? Like how much time had really passed? Craig, we was out of there. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. I definitely would have spent some of that money. <laughs> some. So I would have spent all of it. So be nip. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. I've been paid off some stuff. Soon, big nickel. 
Shoot me. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, now bills would have been handled. For oh, sure. Yeah, for sure. I'd have handled bills. Like things sure. that, I, that, that, that they that I know they can't snatch back. Because mm -hmm. they go out there put a lien on that car, they'll put a lien on that. But bills would have been handled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that. Bitch, mm -hmm. every, everything I had would have been zero balance. Right. How much I owe you? Oh, right. I got some for you. Right. Put a little love off it. Here you go. Tad. Yeah, that's right. Here's a little tip. Here you go. Tip. Here you put here go interest. Right, <laughs> right, right. I came with a little extra money. <laughs> I had a little extra. I had a little extra, but I had a little something, and, something. And then you, you listen, and mind you, while you doing all that shit, then you done gave all that little extra. You done did, went Christmas shopping for the neighborhood. And that's that, <laughs> you, that, you know, you, 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 the bitches at home watching TV, and you pop up on the screen. Uh, right. Uh, uh, Missouri woman. <laughs> oh, one point two. Like, bitch, she just gave. I right. Hope, I hope she ain't like, she really get this that she gave me back. Because you definitely ain't getting it back from me. She ain't getting it back from me. Anything come from me? Anything no. come from me? <laughs> Not a damn Not thing. Not a damn thing. So you don't Shit. think she could sue for like emotional distress? Because that's emotional distress like a motherfucker. Uh, I mean, she could try. She could Listen, if yeah. her lawyer's good, she can. If her lawyer's good. But I'm just thinking, if you got 1.2 million dollars and you fighting with them for two or three years, yeah, it ain't gonna be 1.2 no more. That's gonna be a lot of money. You paying? It's gonna be 1,200 dollars by the time. Right? Shoot, shoot you better than they, what they I gonna was send you an invoice. About, and I was bitch. about a good 120 bucks. <laughs> yeah, because I was looking at Selena. Did you see Selena Johnson talking about her divorce? Selena, I watched the thing where Selena Johnson was talking about how her lawyers were suing her for. For her lengthy divorce. Are you serious? That she was indebted to her lawyers for a lengthy divorce. That she they they had she was in so much debt to her lawyers. The people that represented yeah. her. Yeah. So oh my I didn't damn. know she was divorced. Damn, that's wild. I was just looking at her on the um, porch uh concert. There's a show on Netflix. I mean, uh YouTube where different performers they perform on a front porch. It's in Maryland somewhere. It's in the DMV, but um, Tweet performed, Rough Ends, she did, um, Selena tweet. Johnson. Mm -hmm. They are actually on the front porch and they perform with a band. So let's get to this and then create the other stuff we'll pick up on when we come okay. back. We'll come, we'll probably come, are you busy Saturday, Mo? No, I'm not busy Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'm doing my tax on Saturday. <laughs> now, you see, that's the person you need to go to. I already know you're my taxes. <laughs> Happen. Oh, the perfume something. fell off. Oh, the I thought thing. Mo, you threw something over here. No. Really? <laughs> really? The, the first thing you do is to blame me. I can't stand doing taxes. You need to stop being messy. I know how y'all Africans do, but it's America. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna yeah, say? I all my taxes. You already said. I hate yes, that. bitch. I, listen, it, shit costed me. I don't even want to talk about it. What What happened now? What were you about to ask me? Yeah, shit cost it. It was ugly. Cause I had to do years. Cause I wait. I file my taxes every three years. <laughs> Which I be like, girl, I'm not going down there. I give it. Up. Cause sometimes them 1099s come later. Get somebody else to do it. Mo, Mo, you got your 1099. I did. Did you go down there and file your taxes? I did. Listen, cause whatever I told them that I gave you, that's what I told them. <laughs> I did. I you got your 1099 from a real company. I did. I sure did. I should do. Speaking of, I have something in my car I have to give you. Mm, I can't stand tax time. You got something you got to do what? I have to give you. See, there's something in my car I need to give you. Why are you looking like What they got to do? I already gave you your papers for your taxes. <laughs> what you got to give me? Why are you looking all concerned? Because I need to find what you got to give me. <laughs> it's not we, our relationship is done for 2023. <laughs> we working on 2024 right now. Our it's 2023 nothing, relationship is done. Nothing, it's nothing and bad. And our 2021 relationship, 20, our relationship is done. It's nothing bad. Submit to my mom is dead adoption letter. No. <laughs> okay. I'd like to. I mean, I, I mean, I am young enough for her to adopt me. Oh my god, <laughs> sweetie, you're not. He's still on that. <laughs> you, you young enough. You go. young enough to be a for me to be a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> Only by a few years. Okay. 